So Creative Centenaries has partnered with the Ulster Museum for a whole range of activity this year and uh, 2016 marks the 100 year anniversaries of both the Rising and the Somme as well as other things. The Creative Centenaries project is all around using new emerging creative technologies to try and explore the past and help young people to engage with it in a way like they haven't before. So today we brought along the Fab Lab team from the Nerve Centre, we brought along some 3D printers, some laser cutters, some vinyl cutters and basically what we're trying to do is to use those modern day technologies to try and explore the past really creatively and engage with people of all ages. Hi, my name is Stephen. I work in Discover History at the Austin Museum. What we have here is a Princess Mary box. So the Princess Mary box was a part of a charitable endeavour by Princess Mary, who was King George V's daughter. And uh, basically what she decided to do was she decided to make sure that every soldier on the Western Front um, got a present from her. That included, um, if you were a smoker, some cigarettes and some tobacco and maybe a pipe. It also included a, a card from her and a photograph of her. So about two and a half million serving soldiers would have got this during uh, the Christmas of 1914. We've reimagined the Princess Mary box from 1914, so that a famous box was produced as part of the First World War. Uh, so we've used a laser cutter and a 3D printer to try and, try and build those. We've also created our own little trench periscopes, again using the laser cutter, to try and give it a flavour for what life might have been like in the trenches, how the technology then worked essentially, and how we can try and recreate that nowadays. We've also 3D printed a model of the Lusitania. We've also created our own First World War inspired t-shirts and we're also screen printing our own First World War recruitment posters today as well. Again, just as a way of trying to bring it to life for a new audience. We've also been using some green screen technology to help people dress up in, in period costume from the time and place themselves back in the scene from, from scenes from both the First World War and the Easter Rising, 1916 generally. Again, to try and bring it home, the, the real personal and true stories from that time. And it's interesting, I mean, all of this is all new technologies, it's all really modern, modern day stuff. But people of all ages can really engage with it, people of all ages can interact with it, and people of all ages can, can create something and take something away from today that helps them to, to, to think about 1916, to think about events within the decade of centenaries like they never have before. Creativity Month is really important because it gives people of all ages, especially the young people you've seen here today, it gives them a chance to interact with things that they might not normally have a chance to do. I mean, for example, today we've had 3D printers, we've had laser cutters on the go. Those aren't everyday objects, those aren't everyday artifacts that you get to see. So things like this really help a new generation to, to engage with creativity in a way that they haven't done before and they possibly can't do. So this is a really, really positive thing for the creative industries as a whole, for the creative sector as a whole, and for the new generation.